Hello everybody, today we have a super important video, uh, an exciting video, it is Risen Tweaks versus VTRL Tweaks. Uh, these people are known as being a super premium utility in the market recently, and I'm super excited for this, I've never tried anything from them. But let's uh, go ahead and hurry this up, uh, like always I'm on a i7-10700F, I'm on 16GB of DDR4 RAM running at 3000 MHz, and I'm on a 1660 Super. For the prices of these utilities this uh the vtrl is usually 30 or 29.99 euro but uh they are using a conversion so it is actually almost 42 bucks which is quite significantly more expensive than um obviously our extreme tweaks here which are 30 usd like always and if you would like to save some money you can use code hydra at checkout and you can save 15% off any product from the store, not just Extreme. With the pricing out of the way, uh, let's go ahead and showcase the VTRL, and then I'll showcase the Risen Extreme panel, and then we'll get down with our tests and we'll see what utility you should actually spend your hard-earned money on and what would be most beneficiary to you. All right, I've just installed the uh, VTRL app, and I will say this is not looking good. This app is easily the most impressive app I've ever seen from a tweaking utility. This clears hone and ultimate tweaks put together. This is so freaking nice. This looks insane. I believe this is like, oh wow. That is super freaking cool, bro. Holy cow. This is actually crazy. This thing is going to do so good. Holy cow. I'm so excited for this. But enough. <laughs> enough talking about this. I'm going to do every tweak I possibly can. Then we'll showcase uh, Risen's. Which. Uh, um. Yeah, no, Risen is not going to beat the looks on this. This looks insane. Um, wow. <laughs> I, I'm literally a stunt. I'm a, oh my goodness, this looks so cool. All right, but yeah, let's uh, let's just go ahead and showcase Risen Tweaks Extreme. And then uh, we'll see, uh, we'll do the test and see who's going to win. I'm actually kind of scared for this one, I can't not lie. All right, and now we're going to showcase the Extreme Utility. If you've seen these videos before, you've definitely seen this utility, but it's pretty basic to be honest it just gets you done what what needs to be done give your windows settings performance tweaks all these extra stuff you can read if you want to network optimizations i believe this is the best in the game for the utilities um always get an a plus on the buffalo scores now i'm using t-mobile internet uh deep loading this is also the best in the game 50 to 60 processes guaranteed and gpu settings uh you know these are pretty good as important stuff for both radeon and nvidia and extra, you have stuff like priority queue, data queue size, mouse, keyboard tweaks, CPU tweaks. Um, but that, that is everything in the extreme. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, go go along with the test. But for looks, I think VTRL is definitely going to clear that. I think it's the best UI we've ever seen. I think it literally clears every other UI we've ever seen. But let's go ahead and get to the test, which is the real purpose of this. For our stocked tweaked OS, our process count was 148. On our VTRL tweaked OS, our process count was 88, which I do think is very respectable. And I think I am seeing a repeat of like average processes with these utilities. I just don't think that they de bloat. They want to, they just don't want to risk as much as Risen Tweaks does. And for Risen Tweaks, our process count was 66 giving risen tweaks the win for the buff for the sorry for the process count test i i really don't think it's going to get beat by an any utility i think that they are just averaging around around 80 to 90 uh processes on most of the utilities at least but uh risen tweaks has won the process count test on our stock os our buff bullet score was a c on our vtrl tweaked os our buff bullet score was actually an a this is this has made me so happy. Every single tweaking utility I've tried, it has literally basically done nothing for my buffer bullet score, which is so important for gaming. 
I am so happy for VTRL for doing something about that. And unfortunately, and I really do say this as unfortunately, unfortunately, Risen Tweaks did get an A+, which I have to give the win over for instead of the A. Like, I, I just have to. I can't not do that. But for Buffalo Score, Risen Tweaks has won. Barely. I want, I want to say barely. For our stock OS, our average process latency was 5.8, and our average DPC latency was 3.5. On our VTRL tweaked OS, our average process latency was 2.3, and our average GPC latency was actually 0.87, which is super low uh, for most of these other tweaking utilities that we use. Our latency cha definitely changes. You always see a change in latency from basically any tweaking utility is super easy to fix, but it is hard to get below one on the average GPC latency. And on our Risen Tweaked OS, our average process latency was 1.8, and our average GPC latency was 0.67, which that is actually the lowest we've ever gotten Risen Tweaks OS, I think so, maybe. Um, but still for this category, Risen Tweaks is gonna take the win. And here we have the FPS test. And as you see, this is easily the closest comparison we've ever had. Our averages, I will say this is a 100,000% margin of error. These are probably exactly the same to be honest, but the part that is gonna put superior, that Risen Superior to this is our 1% or 0.1% lows. You can see they are just simply a lot higher than than <laughs> the stock and VTRLs, and yeah, Risen Tweaks still has one. I am super super impressed by VTRL. I really really want to see them grow more. That is such a cool utility. I want no hate towards them at all. Um, if you could get like your, if you could bring down your price for American USD. I think that this would be totally totally worth it this is super cool but um unfortunately for 11 almost 12 more dollars i wouldn't think it's worth it not for the american buyer if you're in europe or whatever i you know yeah i think it'd be cool to at least just try it but i mean they definitely both did much better than the stock os and i have nothing i have nothing to say but good reviews for vtrl um just that if you want price to performance i would still go with risen tweaks and for that summary risen tweaks has won this test uh for the conclusion of this video i it, it is clear that our winner and i do really i really do say this i think if you if you're living in america and you have to pay the usd for a vtrl i don't think it's worth it i don't think it's worth 41 usd uh i can't speak for europeans for uh euros but i i would most definitely pay $41 just to try this thing out. It is so freaking cool. I absolutely love this utility. I really want no hate towards VTRL at all. This was such a cool utility to use. But from our from what I paid, which is $42 from my price to performance standpoint, I just I still think that Risen Extreme is the way to go for that. I think if VTRL can get their 0.1 and 0.1% lows up higher, um, Microsoft is whatever it may cause. And this utility could be a like one of definitely a top three utility ever made. Um, but to wrap up this video, Risen Tweaks is gonna take the dub, and that's all I have to say. Make sure you use code Hydra at checkout for 15% off any product from risentweaks.com.